welcome back. Before we left you for our break, we were talking to the now-renowned author, Favel Perret, about his life and how he came to write the novel Pass the Shallows. Before we continue where we left off, I'd like to thank our sponsors, Raid Shadow Legends, which is a free-to-play app on the iOS and Android devices. Choose skeleton knights, be an ogre, or even a dragon. Play your own way. And if you use the code SHALLOWS when redeeming any purchases, you'll get 10% off. Favel, thank you again for joining us tonight. Yes, I am very humbled to be here and thank you so much for having me. So, continuing on from where we left off, Mm -hmm. uh, what are some of the key ideas or messages that are being explored throughout the novel? Well, the key ideas that are represented to the novel are mostly the abusive behaviour, the tragedy, the addiction of their father to Harry and Miles. And in addition to that is the the dealing with grief, the loss of their mother in the event of the car crash, which took their mother away from them. And lastly is the importance of the brotherhood. So, Farvel, can you tell us about these key ideas portrayed in the novel? Well, the grief that is represented in the novel, is, this is to show the boy's growth within a broken family. But because of the loss of their mother, this results into the the abusive behaviour of their dad, which is shown through the novel. This kind of forces Miles to act as a shield for, for the protection of Harry in order to survive. And this is when the importance of the brotherhood comes in, where Miles and Harry work together. What's the reason behind the father's abusive nature? Yep, so basically the reason behind this is after the death of his brother-in-law, Uncle Nick, and his wife, Mum, his guilt and grief kind of spiralled into alcoholism, you know, Uh, and this results into the abuse of his three sons, Harry, Miles, and Joe, and like the frequently chaotic natural environment of Brownie Island, which they live in, his unpredictable, threatening behaviour is a looming source of fear for, the, for the, his three boys. And his presence is rather confusing, particularly for Miles and Harry, as, as they admire him as the provider of the family and the head of the household. But they resent the fear and uncertainty he brings to their lives about the paradoxical nature of the ocean and how it changes between the dad and the boys well the ocean kind of acts like a character within the novel as well but its behavior changes when it comes to the dad and the boys from the dad being the abalone fisherman when he comes to the ocean the ocean becomes more harsh in which alternates within the story but for Harry, Miles and Joe, the ocean is more likely a calm and it portrays their escape from their troubled home life. Um, this setting is beautiful but dangerous because in the novel it represents more broadly towards the relationship of humanity to the world. How does all of these compare to individual and collective human experiences? Well, Miles and Harry's personal experiences and their mutual interactions with the world kind of reflects within the collective experiences of the family, of the extended family we still have today in the society. Um, These mutual interactions along with the characters in the novel concern life and despondency in a small remote coastal township. But for the individual experiences for each character, they indicate that they yearn for themselves. And in the future, they see the world from various viewpoints because they all individually sees the world differently. Well, That's all the time we have for tonight's special interview. For more, you can follow us at www.wearetheinterview.com or tune in to next Tuesday on podcast for another special interview. Thank you again for coming in for that. Thank you so much for having me. And we'll see you next time. Goodbye.